Welcome to the chapter subtraction. This slide presents the overview of the chapter Learning Objectives. By the end of this chapter, you will be able to solve the subtraction of two and three digit numbers, explain the subtraction of two and three digit numbers with borrowing. Introduction In this chapter, we are going to learn about the subtraction with two and three digit numbers. Dear children, subtraction means just taking away a smaller number from a bigger number or making less the value of a number. We use the minus symbol for subtraction. In this section, I will show you the subtraction of two digit numbers. Now, let us do a simple subtraction of 75 and 52. Write these numbers in the tens and ones place. In the number 75, 5 is in ones place and 7 is in tens place. In the number 52, 2 is in ones place and 5 is in tens place. For subtraction, we are going to subtract from the right end as we did in the addition. So, here we have to first subtract the digits in the ones place and after that subtract the digits in the tens place. In the ones place, we get the number 3 by subtracting 2 from 5. We should write the number 3 under ones column. Now, we have to subtract the numbers in tens place. Here, we get the number 2 by subtracting the 5 from 7. In the same way, we should write the number 2 under tens column. Therefore, the final answer of 75 minus 52 is equal to 23. Let us perform an activity on subtraction of two digit numbers. Do the subtraction of the following two digit numbers by drag and drop. Let us see the subtraction of three digit numbers. For example, there are 259 number of boys and 125 number of girls in a renowned school. Let's see the difference between the number of boys and girls in the school by subtracting both the numbers. Write these numbers according to the place value. So, for the numbers 259, there are two hundreds, five tens and nine ones. Similarly, for the numbers 125, there are 100, 2 tens and 5 ones. For the subtraction of these numbers, we have to subtract the ones place, tens place and hundreds place by striking out the respective numbers as shown on the screen. So, we should subtract 5 ones from 9 ones, 2 tens from 5 tens and 100 from 2 hundreds. After striking out the numbers, we remain with 4 ones, 3 tens and 100. Therefore, the difference between the number of boys and the number of girls is 134. Let us perform an activity on subtraction of 3 digit numbers. Do the subtraction of the following 3 digit numbers by drag and drop. Now, we see the subtraction of two and three digit numbers by borrowing the numbers. Here, we have two numbers 295 and 68. 
Let the number 295 represents the number of apples and 68 represent the number of oranges in a fruit basket. Let's see the difference between the number of apples and oranges in the fruit basket by subtracting both the numbers. As we know, subtraction starts from 1's place but we cannot take 8 ones from 5 ones. So, we should borrow 110 from the 9 tens and can be represented as shown on screen. Now, we have 10 ones and 5 ones which together we have a total of 15 ones. From 15 ones take away the 8 ones and the result is 7 ones as shown. Now take away the tens, 8 tens minus 6 tens, we get 2 tens as shown. Now hundreds, there are only 2 hundreds left, so take both the hundreds. So the difference between apples and oranges is 227 as shown. Let us perform an activity on subtraction using borrowing method. Do the subtraction of the following 3 and 2 digit numbers by drag and drop. Now, we are going to learn the subtraction of three digit numbers with borrowing. Here we have two numbers, 365 and 226. Let the number 365 represent the number of students in block 1 and 226 represent the number of students in block 2. Let's see the difference between the number of students in block 1 and 2 by subtracting the numbers. As we know, subtraction starts from 1's place but we cannot take 6 ones from 5 ones. So, we should borrow 110 from the 6 tens and can be represented as shown on screen. Now, we have 10 ones and 5 ones which together we have a total of 15 ones. From 15 ones, take away the 6 ones and the result is 9 ones as shown. Now take away the tens, 5 tens minus 2 tens, we get 3 tens as shown. Now hundreds, 3 hundreds minus 2 hundreds, we will get 100. So the difference between block 1 and block 2 is 139 as shown. Let us perform an activity on subtraction of three digit numbers with borrowing. Do the subtraction of the following three digit numbers. Let us solve some exercise problems. Try to solve the problems in the practice zone on your own. Click Solution tab to verify your answers. Summary Let us recap the highlights of this chapter. We have studied how to subtract 2 and 3 digit numbers. We have learned how to subtract a 2 and 3 digit numbers with the help of borrowing method. 
follow-up work. Sunil had rupees three fifty-eight. After purchasing a storybook, he is left with rupees one fifty-nine. How much money did he spend? Jagdish had fifty-five books. He kept thirty-four books in the cupboard. How many does he need to keep in the cupboard? Test your understanding of the chapter by taking the mock unit test. You have successfully completed the chapter subtraction.